This lecture is prepared by Department of Children's Infection Disease for students of fourth course. The topic of the lecture is polio in children, discipline children's infectious disease. Polio is one of the most dangerous diseases of the childhood which can lead to death and severe disability. Thanks to the achievements of domestic virology and pediatrics, there are no great success in the fight against this terrible disease. Plan of the lecture, definition, etiology, pathogenesis, epidemiology, classification, physical examination, laboratory and instrumental data, differential diagnosis, treatment and prevention of polio. Polio or spinal infantile paralysis, Hain Medina disease, is an acute infectious disease characterized by a lesion of the gray matter of the spinal cord and brainstem with the development of flaccid paris and paralysis and tabloid disorders. Until recently, until the end of the 50s of our century, polio was a formidable disease whose epidemics claimed a large number of human lives and most of the sur survivors remained disabled. History background. The disease of polio in children was known in ancient times. At the end of the 19th, beginning of the 20th century, frequent polio epidemics in Western Europe and America served as material for detailed monographs concerning its clinical picture, pathogenesis, pathological anatomy, and epidemiology. In 19 08 by Viennese scientists Lansteiner and Popper discovered the pathogen of polio. Pathogen is a poliovirus which can be of three types, 1, 2 and 3. As a typical representative of the family of intestinal viruses, it's very similar in its epidemic properties to the pseudopoliomyelitic echo and coxsackie viruses, which can give a similar clinical picture to the non parvotic form of polio. Poliovirus contains RNA. It has a cytopathic effect in tissue culture. In addition to humans, it's pathogenic for monkeys, quickly inactivated by boiling, after clearing and UV irradiation. It's disinfected in 30 minutes when heated to 50 degrees, but it tolerates cold well. At normal room temperature, it persists for several days. Resistance to the action of digestive juice antibiotics. Conventional methods of disinfection are inactive. Neutralizing effect is provided by free chlorine and formalite. Epidemiology. The source of polio infection in children is a patient with an abortive or erased form of polio, as well as a healthy carrier of the virus. Infection occurs more often by fecal oral route. The airborne route of transmission appears to play a large role in covert immunization of the population. Seasonal increases in morbidity in temper temperate countries occur in the summer and autumn months. Pathogenesis The entrance gate is mainly the intestinal tract in the lymphoid tissue of which, as well as the lymph nodes of the pharynx, the poliovirus multiplies and it's found in large quantities within 2-4 days after infection. The detailed clinical picture of the disease is presided by the stage of virology. In the implementation of the pathological process and the peculiarities of its course, not only the virulence and massiveness of the infecting dose of the pathogen, but also the state of the microorganism its specific and non-specific resistance, including the genetic determinism 
of the immune response are of great importance. Forms of polio with central nervous system damage. Typical form, non-paralytic or meningeal form and paralytic form. It's a spinal, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, limited or, co or, or common. Pontains, bulbar, pontospinal, bulbospinal, by bulbar pontospinal forms. Atypical form, in apparently form, the virus, abortive form, minor illness. According to the severity, mild form, medium heavy and severe form. Criteria of severity. The severity of symptoms of a intoxication. Severity of matter disorders. By the course of the disease, character, smooth, uneven, with complication, with the layering of secondary infection, with exacerbation of chronic disease. In apparently or asymptomatic form of polyomyelitis, clinically apparent. Children with an inapparent form are dangerous to others. They are secrete poliovirus with fecal masses and they have a high concentration of specific antibodies in their blood. It should be emphasized that the frequency in apparently forms is quite high. Abortive form has a number of symptoms. Acute onset with increased body temperature, cultural phenomena, moderate headache. Often, especially in young children, there are gastrointestinal disorders, abdominal pain, nausea, frequent loose stools. His form proceeds favorably, usually after 3-7 days, recovery occurs. The meningeal form of polio occurs as serious meningitis, has a sharp beginning, high body temperature, severe headache, repeated vomiting. Patients have stiff neck muscles, symptoms of Brudzinski, Kernix, spontaneous pain in the arms, legs and back, positive symptoms of tension of root and nerve trunks. Symptoms of Nevi, Vlasic, Wasserman. Pain during palpation along the nerve trunks. The course of the meningeal form of polio is usually favorable. Recovery occurs after 3-4 weeks. Normalization of the cerebrospinal fluid begins at week 3. Paralytic forms. Among the paralytic forms of polio highlight spinal, pontine, Bulbar, bulbospinal, encephalitic, characteristic of paralytic polio, characterized by flat, flatic paresis and paralysis of the skeletal diaphragmatic muscles and abdominal press. Bulbar form, accompanied by a violation of the function of vital organs and therefore the most severe. Pontine form, limited to the defeat of the facial nerve located in the area of the brain bridge, which is manifested by paresis or paralysis of the facial muscles, encephalitic, occurring with signs of focal brain damage. The spinal form of polio is divided into four periods, preparalytic, paralytic, restorative and residual period. Preparalytic period. It lasts from the onset of the disease until the first signs of damage to the motor sphere in the form of sluggish paresis and paralysis. Occurs with a high body temperature and general intoxication symptoms, headache, vomiting, pain in the limbs, back, neck. Sometimes cultural phenomena of the upper respiratory tract and gastrointestinal disorders come to the fore which cause erroneous diagnosis. Per on, on day 2-3, meningeal and radicular syndromes develop. The main points of diagnosis and severe headaches and restriction of movements of the spine, sharp hyperesthesia, pain, 
along the nerve trunks, swelling, especially pronounced in the head and paralyzed muscles in the future, redness of the skin of the face, and sometimes the entire body, a symmetry of tendon reflexes, early reduction or absence of abdominal and cremaster reflexes, with trenched forms of pallor, trembling of the limbs is observed. Paralytic period. The period of growth of paralysis and their stabilization lasts for one, two days to two weeks. The maximum development of paralysis is usually observed in the first day of the disease. The most characteristic is asymmetric lesions of the proximal extremities. The spinal form can be localized in the cervical, thoracic, and lumbar regions, depending on which part of the spinal cord the motor cells of the anterior horns are affected. Paralysis is sluggish, marked by hyper or eye reflexia. Later, from two three weeks, muscle atrophy occurs with a chain in electrical ex- excitability reverse reaction. The most severe are spinal form that affects the diaphragms and respiratory muscle of the chest. This is spinal form. Pontine form of polio. The polio virus affects the nucleus of the facial nerve located in the breech area. As a rule, one side surface, the function of the facial muscles is impaired. The eyelids stop closing, it's impossible to wrinkle the forehead, inflate and cheeks. The angel of the mask becomes fixed. The brow reflex decreases or is lost. This is pontine form. Bulbar form of polio occurs with the defeat of the nuclei nines. 10th and 12th cranial nerves, which led to a disorder of swallowing, phonation, pathological secretion of mucus. A sharp deterioration in the condition of patient is not when the respiratory and vasomotor centers are affected with a violation of vital functions. Breathing becomes peri- periodic, arrhythmic, when then the function of the respiratory centers, fairies, vasomotor disorders develop. The patient's existment is replaced by somnolence, a comatose state occurs. In the case of polio, the clinical picture shows a combination of bulbar symptoms with paresis and paralysis of the muscle of the trunk and limbs. When the nucleus of the facial nerve located in the bridge of the brain is affected, the pontine form develops. The latter is characterized by paralysis of the facial muscles in the absence of lacrimation, taste disorders and pain sensitivity disorders. Recovery period. Active movements appear first in less affected muscles, then spread more widely. In the most deeply affected muscles associated with completely dead matter neurons, recovery doesn't occur. The recovery processes are most active during the first six months. Then their pace slows down. Residual period. If there is no positive dynamics to several months, the remaining paresis and paralysis are considered as residual phenomena. The period of residual phenomena is characterized by increasing muscle atrophy, contractures, osteoporosis, and bone deformity. This is residual periods and deformation of skeleton. 
Primary pathological changes, paralysis, cooling of the paralyzed lime, bone atrophy, changes in the, their articular ends, leading of the lime in growth. Intermediate changes, weight, loss of limes and muscle atrophy. Secondary changes such as contractors and muscle sprains. Muscle atrophy with polio radicular neuropathy and acute myelitis. In polio, fever is typical and clinical symptoms include flaccid paresis and paralysis without sensitivity disorders, without pervic disorders, without pyramidal signs and tropic disorders. In polio radical neuropathy, fever is absent and clinical symptoms include sluggish paresis and paralysis symmetrical with sensitivity disorders of the neurotic type. Acute myelitis Fever more often expressed and clinical symptoms include spastic or flaccid paresis depending on the level of lesion, pelvic and tropic disorders, sensory disorders of the conductor type. Diagnosis of polio in children. There are no specific changes of diagnostic significance in peripheral blood. Inflammatory changes in the cerebrospinal fluid are typical for all paralytic forms of acute polio. The normal composition of cerebrospinal fluid can be maintained with mild spinal and pontine forms. Electromyography Reduction of the oscillation rhythm characteristic of the anterior horn localization of the process or complete bioelectric silence. Virological and serological studies. Material sampling should be carried out in the very first days of the disease. Virus shedding is most likely from the feces sometimes from nasopharyngeal and cerebrospinal fluid flush. Serological examination is aimed at determining specific antibodies in the blood serum. The diagnostic value is at least four-fold increase in viral neutralizing and complement binding antibodies in the course of the disease. So, at least two serum samples are examined in intervals of 12-14 days. Virus isolation from the patient. Treatment. Treatment tactics. There is no specific treatment. Medication that block the poliovirus and treatment is symptomatic. The purpose of the treatment. Improvement of matter activity increase of muscle strength and volume of active movements, prevention of complication, execution of self-service skills and social adaptation. Non-drug treatment, therapeutic exercises, stimulation massage of the affected limbs and back muscles, conductive pedagogy, psychotherapy, magnetic therapy, biaptron, UHF on the affected segments of the spinal cord, electrostimulation of parietic muscles by pulse current, other carried of paraffin applications to the area of parietic muscles, joints, electrophoresis of galantamine, proserine by vermil, acupuncture, Orthopedic prevention of paretic limbs using tires, langettes, rollers, sandbags, development of contractures. Medication therapy, proserine solution for of 50 microgram for one year of life, but no more than 375 microgram per injection one time per day, if necessary, 
the daily dose of the drug can be divided into two, three doses. The specific course is prescribed for 30 days. After a two week break, a side or all 0.25% solution of galantamine 0.1 milliliter intramuscularly for a wee year of life once a day for 10 days. And hormones, prednisolone 1 milligram to kilogram for 5-7 days. And vitamin therapy and uh, anti-spasmodic therapy. It's dibazol. Preventive control. Prevention of contractures, atrophy, muscle sprays, tendon retraction, skeletal de de deformities, scoliosis, subluxation and dislocation of joint, prevention of viral and bacterial infections. Further maintain maintenance continuation of regular physical therapy session, orthopedic prevention, poetic limes during sleep, orthopedic shoes, splint after six months, spa treatment is indicated climate therapy, sea baths carrying out of repeated course of massage. And uh, active immunization is the main link in the prevention of polio. Immunization of the population against polio is carried out within the framework of the national calendar of preventive vaccination. It's an inactivated polio vaccine, IPV, in 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 18th months. And oral polio vaccine, OPV, in 12th or 15th months. There is a national calendar of preventive vaccination 